House of Witchcraft. You thought it was going to be Miss Taryn, but no, tis I, Dana. Tonight, we'll be brewing some magic. Why don't you come on in and join us? Hello, hello! Welcome to the House of Witchcraft and the Witch's Cottage, because that's what we're talking about today, is the Witch's Cottage Coven and how they have their altar, how we have our altar set up in that moment between closing our altars down for the season of the dead, saying goodbye, that season's over, and now we're turning towards the season of the light, which happens on December 21st, winter solstice. That's when we go to the light half of the year, all right? But these in-between time, we have this couple of weeks, what does the altar look like? And I wanted to show it to you because actually right now it looks really good. A um, couple of the witches were up here and took down the Season of the Dead altar. Um, we took the veil off, took down all of our, our mementos to the dead. All right. And have left a very minimal type altar. We still have a dark goddess because here at the cottage, the way we do our altar is... During the dark half of the year, we have a dark goddess representation. And then during the light half of the year, on December 21st, let me lean over here. And this is our light half of the year representation. I'll bring it up here. Y'all can see. Um, she's been with me for oh, going on almost uh, over two decades now. Um, and it's really... A raffin doll uh, put on a candlestick and it became the goddess of the light half of the year you know with for us here at the cottage because in the house of witchcraft all paths to divinity are sacred so we all have varied ways that we venerate divinity for me it may be a goddess for someone else it may be a god and goddess for some it may be a pantheon of a thousand goddesses for others our christian witches this is very much you know the yahweh jesus time and that's what's on their altar maybe even a saint or two or, or mary or something like that so in the cottage itself, we try to keep divinity just in a seasonal representation. So for us, like I was saying, this is our, our dark goddess. She represents the dark half of our year. We won't see her again until June 21st is when she comes back out. And then the, the altar uh, reflects that. And right now, if you see, I was talking, I'm going to do a clip where you can sort of up close see. We have the, the black candle, the, the white candle. We've got a blade on each side of the altar. All right, there's the bell. Of course, we have our egg. It's our own thing here we've got going. Um, there's still a small cup to spirit realm folk. And then this is for a little jug that we put incense stick in. But our cauldron that we have sitting up here is is empty and and waiting all right because this is that leaning in time like i was saying earlier this is after the season of the dead but it's not the season of the light yet all right we are still in the, the winter we're still waiting we're hibernating all right so i think a lot of times we are our altars are quiet they're in anticipation of but it is very important to take that deep breath to really tune in to right now and and let your altar be a reflection of that all right this is just one way to have an altar this is one way within many for witches i hope it inspires you and of course tell me about your altar for this time between the season of the dead where we've told the dead goodbye and now we're getting ready to turn towards the light we're in this hibernating stage how are you witches out there feeling i really want to know because i think this is an overlooked time because we're 
unsure what to do. And so, of course, I'm always looking for inspiration. Here is the close-up of our altar. And that moment between the season of the dead is ended and we're turning towards the light, we still have the dark aspect on our altar. And as you can see right now, we have a both a black and a white candle. We're in that moment of what in between. On December 21st, like I was saying, is when we'll change over to the light half of the year. And these are the representation that the witches have on our cottage right now, or on our altar right now. And also here's a, I know you guys always ask about those herbs behind me. So here's a little peek of some of the different herbs. Uh, and also minerals and barks and uh, oils and things like that that we have and use here at the cottage. And I uh, want to give a shout out real quick, which is I got a couple of you witches that have just been so nice to me. And so I want to real quick say thank you to Lord of the Shells. Thank you to Kay Fairer. All right. Um, and of course, Moon, you know, you're one of my favorite witches, girlfriend. And the Witch of White Hell Hollow has a great channel and she has got good knowledge, witches. All right. I would go check her channel out. It is the Witch of White Tail Hollow. All right. And of course, Beanbag Hagwag. That's another channel that I, I just love. I could just sit and listen to her. Uh, she talks about her experience, her journey. Um, and then Amethyst Ascension. I th thank you for those comments. And of course, Anthony, my, my English witch who was leaning into the house and has joined us. You always leave such bright, cheerful comments for me. Thank y'all so much for the support I've gotten, for the community that we are a part of here on YouTube and the other content creators. Please lean into them. Uh, anybody that's spreading a positive, empowering message, I strongly recommend that you uh, subscribe to. Anybody that's, uh, you know, doing negative put downs or trying to convince you how much money you got to spend. I probably wouldn't pay much attention to those folks. You know what I'm saying? You know, sometimes it's best just not stir cauldrons. That's all. All right, witches. Thank you all so much for joining me here today. You know I want you to have as bright of a blessed day as I'm having. And as always, amen, blessed be, ashe, and a bobo.